Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Croakin' today. We're gonna be going over how to make 347k in less than 30 minutes in the salvage yard getting the Vapid Dominator ASP. But before we get in the video, please smash that subscribe button to join the Crow Crew along with liking the video to help with the algorithm. Let's get into it. Head over to your computer and go to Vapid Dominator ASP. You're gonna do the startup here. You're gonna confirm it, pay the $20,000 and simply have an MK2 or equivalent body armor, food, and weapons when you do any of these missions. Also, a disclaimer, things may change in the missions where items are at. I'm showing you where they could possibly be at and much, much more. We're going into detail. No one else is putting a video out a day just like me. So we're gonna be doing the bypass module right here. So click X, we're gonna start that mission up. Alrighty, so that's gonna be the Duggan robbery and our mission's gonna be the bypass module. So we're gonna destroy the signal jammers. I'm gonna make my way over there and show you where they're at and how to destroy them. The first signal jammer is gonna be in this location that we're gonna be heading right here. So we're simply gonna destroy it. You're, you might have to get off your MK2 and use a weapon and just use the ladder right there. So we destroyed it with our MK2. So we're gonna go to the next one here. The next signal jammer is located right here. So we're simply going to try to take it out with the MK2. If not, you're gonna have to get off and actually take it out with a weapon that you have. So we destroyed it onto the last one. And the last signal jammer is located right here. So simply try taking it out with your MK2 or weapon. You'll see that I can lock on or close to it and simply just take it out like we did there. Now we have to go to the Meriwether lockup, which is the yellow portal on the map. So I'll meet you guys over there. So we're at the Meriwether lockup right here. Take out the NPCs that are going to be right here. Make sure you have your body armor and food. There's also going to be a guy in the turn. Take that person out. It's the first thing you want to do. And you're going to see that little red arrow there. And you're going to hit that. There's going to be more NPCs, but you want to go inside and simply get the bypass module that is located right here. So click that right arrow. Click that right arrow right over here and take the bypass module and take out any of the remaining NPCs that are right here. So what I have to do now is deliver the bypass module to the salvage yard and that's going to be the end of the mission there's going to be npcs that are going to be following you and trying to take you out so keep that in consideration next mission is going to be vip pass so simply click on it and we're going to start it up all we have to do is head over to maze bank arena i'll meet you guys at the yellow portal you're simply going to go over to the yellow portal and go inside have your best weapon drawn ready to go once inside it doesn't matter if you trigger the cameras and you're going to alert the guard, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna go and head over to this door, try to open it. You're not going to be able to do that. Now you're simply gonna take out any of the NPCs that are over here. Once you take out the NPCs, you're gonna head over to this side over here, the opposite side, and simply go to the doors here. I always start with this one because usually the key is inside. One thing that I notice is if the door is stuck and you can't get in, like it doesn't give you the option to get in, is restart your counts. You're gonna start the mission over again and make sure you go to this side because it's usually in here. In this case, it's not, so you're gonna have to head over to the first door and do the same exact thing. We're gonna break in, you're gonna hack into it, so if you don't have the option to hack into it, remember to just restart your console. You're gonna have to restart the mission and always go to that right side door to start it because it's usually in there. So now there's gonna be more NPCs that are gonna be coming at you, so just take them out really quick and get the key. Make sure you have body armor, food, like I told you at the beginning of the video. Simply go inside, walk around until you see that green arrow. So as you can see right here, click that green arrow, get the key, and then head back to Peter's office on the opposite side. Once you're up the stairs, simply just go to the door and click the right arrow and use the card to get in. Now walking in, you're gonna see another green arrow on the right side here. So simply get the VIP pass, steal it, click that right arrow, and now we're gonna exit the abandoned workshop. We're simply gonna go the way we came in. There's gonna be more NPCs. Don't worry about those people and simply go to the door. Now all we have to do is deliver the VIP pass to the salvage yard. So that is the end of the mission. For the robbery task, you're simply going to go to that green bag, the hammer and screwdriver on the map, and we're gonna be stealing a LS Panic trailer. So click that right arrow and start it up. Now we're gonna break into the nearest warehouse where the little yellow portal is, which is directly right here. Simply have your weapons ready to go. Once you go inside, you're gonna be greeted by NPCs. Once you're inside, take out any NPCs that are in your way right here. I'll take them all out before you get to the driver's side to try to unlock the truck. Once you take out the NPCs, like I said, you're gonna make your way to the driver's side and try opening the truck door. Once you do that, you're simply gonna go to this back office right here and 
you're going to pick up the cab keys. They're going to be on the desk right here or on the air conditioning. And you're simply going to grab that, take out all the rest of the NPCs that you see, and make your way back to the cab to actually take the trailer. Once you're inside, simply exit the warehouse. You're going to have to lose cops. So simply fast forward here and show you guys what happens after you lose the cops. Once you get rid of the police, you're simply going to go to the marked location. I'll meet you guys at the portal. Now you're gonna get to the yellow portal and simply park the trailer right here. And that is the end of this robbery task. The next robbery task is going to be up north. It's gonna be this green bag right here. And we're simply going to get the LS Panic outfits. Click that right arrow and wait for the prompt. We're gonna enter the local suburban closed door that's located across the way and simply go inside. Once you're inside, go by the cashier and get this purple duffel bag. Other spots where it could be at is by the exchange rooms back there or on the right side of the cashier. Now the cops are gonna be after you, so simply just get away from them and I'll show you guys what you have to do after you get away from the cops. Now all we have to do is deliver the outfits to the salvage yard. For the actual robbery, you're going to head over to the computer and you just have to go down and start the robbery. You're going to click on that. Make sure you have body armor, food, weapons, MK2 or equivalent. And we're ready to rock here. So we're simply going to get on our MK2. Our target is the Vapid Dominator ASP. So now we're going to go to La Pierta. Once you make it over to the yellow portal, you're simply going to get in the LS Panic trailer and you're going to head over to the Arena War area. So we're going to fast forward here. Once you get to the yellow portal, you're simply going to park the truck here and you're simply going to head inside. Once you're inside, you're going to have to show the VIP pass to the guard. And once you do that, click the right arrow once you get to the guard and you're going to head down to the elevator. Then we're going to access the elevator. Click that right arrow. Now you're going to have to take out all of the NPCs. So make sure you're behind a wall taking cover making sure you have all your body armor and weapons that you need in order to take out all the NPCs. We're gonna fast forward here and show you guys what happens after you take all the NPCs out, what you have to do. Once all the NPCs are taken out, simply go to any of the telescopes and we're gonna have to look through the car. You're gonna click that right arrow. We're gonna look and find the Dominator ASP. So you're simply going to look around little track until you locate the Dominator ASP. And that's gonna be it right there, that silver Dominator ASP. You're gonna click that right arrow to exit. This is gonna be the toughest part right here is getting the spectator tablet and opening it up and you're going to have to disable the car. So make sure you pay attention here. We're gonna click X to fly the battle drone and you're simply going to get low to the ground and you wanna use that map to show where the car is going to be. You wanna get low to the ground, get in front, click that right R1 right there before the car hits the drone or it's going to destroy it. So we're gonna do it in real time here. So get in front of the car, click R1 and boom. We were able to disable the Dominator ASP that quick. It's that Chrome car. So now we're gonna get down there and take out some NPCs and finally get the car so we can get a payday here. Now take out the NPCs that are located right there. We're simply going to get into the truck and we're gonna steal the Dominator ASP. Once it's inside, you're gonna click that right arrow to install the bypass module. So you're gonna have to drive the car until it is fully installed on the bottom right. That bar is all the way up. Once it's all the way up, you're gonna make your way to the other pit right here and then go to that yellow portal. Now we're gonna deliver it to the salvage yard, but we're gonna have to go to Howe's garage there to get the explosive taken out. So you're gonna go here and then we're gonna have to go to house. So like I said, we're gonna have to take the Dominator ASP to house. So we're gonna fast forward for you guys. Now we're at house, it's gonna be a little cut scene where he's gonna take out the explosive here. Now we're gonna take the vehicle to the salvage yard where we're going to be able to sell it. Once you get to the yellow portal, the car is yours to sell. I'm gonna show you guys how to sell it once we get inside. The robbery is complete. We were able to get $10,000 by following along with my guide here. So super easy into the point. We're gonna head over to the car, the driver's side door right here. You're simply going to click that right arrow. It's 347K to sell. Always sell for that much. Don't salvage the parts. So if you enjoy the video, please smash that subscribe button to join the Crow Crew along with liking the video to help with the algorithm. I'm Croak and I'm out.